Ahoy toy, welcome to Transfix, the channel that is all natural, baby. Except for my hair color and pectoral implants. Today we're looking at restoring this G1 wheeljack figure. I'm pretty sure it's a G1. It didn't say reissue when I bought it. And judging by this discoloration, uh, I believe it. It's in pretty good shape otherwise, um, except it's missing its wings and spoiler, which I didn't notice until I got it home, but that's okay. I got it for 25 bucks, so what do you expect? What we're going to do, though, is we're going to whiten it up. Because I'm a raging racist. No, because it's supposed to be white. You can see there's a lot of sun fade on here. Uh, now, there's different ways to do this. But the main ingredient you're going to need is this Clairol Professional um, what is it, Peroxide, I think. It's called Activator. So, let's get a better look at it. All right, now you can pick this up in a beauty supply store because this is more for professional use than home use. It um, In the U.S. and Canada, the best bet is it's called a Sally Beauty Store. Uh, I think they're not very expensive to get that way. Outside of North America, I'm not sure where to get it. I'm sorry. But a beauty store that supplies salons or perhaps Amazon, you can probably find it there. I think it runs about $15 to $25. Um, I'm sorry, I don't remember them. So, let's see, um, it is Soy Fourplex Activator Pure White Cream Developer Deep Conditioning Soy Fourplex Activator. Um, anyway, the, the it comes in different levels. This is the maximum here. This is number 40. I think it comes in a 20 and a 30. You want the 40. So this is the stuff that whitens it up. Now, be careful with it. Um, I'll tell you how to use it. But... Um, Anyway, there's different methods. Online, there's like recipes that people use to whiten up toys. Uh, I think it's a combination like two parts of this, one part something else, and a bit of water. I'm not sure. I'm lazy, so I just use this stuff on its own, and that has worked fine for me thus far. I whitened up a G.I. Joe uh, snow job figure. I used it on a vehicle. Um, I even used it on an old uh, Apple II Classic 2 computer that had a a yellow chassis and it brought it back to the light gray or off-white color uh, it works pretty well so I'm gonna show you how it works on this now be a bit careful because it will whiten anything it touches um, so I'm putting this guy just on a paper towel try not to get it on any furniture and trying to get it on your skin it will whiten up your skin even whiter than this um, I recommend you use some rubber gloves I'm not gonna just because I'm I'm cool and and I don't really care. I, it's gone on my skin before, and it makes it white. Not like Caucasian white like this, but like white like this. Um, but it goes away within about a day. So not a big deal. Just, you know, don't get it in your eyes. Don't drink it. Uh, don't mix it up in your margarita. You'll be fine. So what we'll do is just take this off. I'm just going to apply some directly to a little foam sponge brush I got at the dollar store. Um, and we just carefully put some on here. You can use a Q-tip or a brush. Look at that. Yes, it looks like jizz, but it works really well. So just put it right on here. Don't worry about the other paint, other decals. I mean, don't go globbing it on everywhere, but I haven't had it take off anything that's not supposed to. It just works on the white for me. So, actually, you know what? I should have opened this up. I'm not too worried. If I get a bit on my hand, I'll just show you what it looks like. That's how committed I am to making this high quality content for you guys. And I'm not going to rub it on with my hands. That would be, that would just be reckless, but you get the idea. Just brush it on here all over the place. And the other ingredient this is going to need is UV, ultraviolet. If you have a UV light, great. Just sit it under there for 24 hours. Um, otherwise, just put it in the sun. I'm going to put this outside. It's nighttime right now, so I can't do that. I'm going to have to do it in the morning. But I don't have time to film this in the morning. So Basically, just find a safe place for this outside. Cover all the spots that need to be lightened up. Put it in direct sunlight for the whole day. Come back and check on it in the evening. And then wash it off. And that's it. I haven't tried it on clear plastic. Should I try it? That plastic looks discolored. Let's see what happens. We'll put it on here. I don't think it's going to do anything to the clear plastic, to be honest. But there we go. So it's on there. Just a pretty generous coating. Just make sure you cover everything. 
Um, you know, if you want to do the other, the bottom, you're not going to get everything covered at once. So, like I said, just make sure you never get any of the stuff on your uh, on your skin, and you'll be fine. Cause it... oh my god! <sighs> okay, slight mishap. I I I got some of the chemical on my skin, and I gained superpowers, but I used it for good. I became a superhero. I called myself White Man. My powers were never getting pulled over by the police, and uh, that was nice, but then it wore off. Actually, truth be told, I used to get pulled over by the police all the time. You know what stopped it? Selling my red car. Having a red car will get you pulled over a lot. As soon as I changed from a red Honda to a silver Toyota Corolla, never got pulled over again. But yet, I still get randomly selected for those airport screenings. Anyway, that's behind us now. So I did get some on my hands. So that, that's um, that's what happens if you get on your skin. It just looks like that. Not too bad. It only seems to get into the uh, the rough parts of my skin, actually. I think it's, it wasn't affecting me too much because I've been moisturizing lately and I have this baby smooth skin. But uh, it did get in there in the rough parts. But that's all. No big deal. So we're going to put this outside tomorrow morning, leave it there all day, and then I'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, now to do this next part, we have to go <laughs> outside. So I think I'm ready to confront my old enemy, El Sol. All right, let's make this quick. We need to be as covered as possible to limit exposure to the outdoor environment. But we need the sun, we need the ultraviolet to do this job. So let's get our wheel jack here and uh, and we'll take it outside. outside. <laughs> okay, it's a very sunny day, so this should be good exposure. We're gonna leave him right out here in direct sunlight. It's about uh, midday, so that's good. He'll get lots of coverage. Um, we may have to turn him around and do another day, depending on how the shadows work here, but uh, I think that'll be good. So, we're going to retreat back indoors now, safe from the oppressive sunlight. Let the sun wreak havoc on the rest of the world while it does a little bit of good here on our G1 wheeljack. And maybe the sun will score a few points before the heat death of the universe. Do something useful, sun! Okay, we're, we're safe now from the sun. Um, we'll just go back later and, and check on it. Hopefully we won't have to go out there more than once. This is what it looks like after one application. Okay, so here he is after four applications and sessions in the sunshine. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. And you can still see some yellow around here and you know, all the places it was before, but it's much better. Uh, you'll notice that these uh, stickers have been removed. I found what happened was that uh, that chemical actually did, it was taking off the green from these stickers. So I just peeled the stickers off. I'm not sure if it took off this paint. I don't think it did. I think that was there before. So I took off the stickers and I took this one off. It took off some of the black as well. So that did come off. I just left this on for now. So it looks like I'm going to be buying some uh, repro labels. I'll get this set here. I might also look at buying some replacement parts. I figured I could probably get 3D printed wings and a spoiler. And I did actually find the spoiler. Oddly enough, though, if you search Shapeways, it doesn't come up. I searched Shapeways Wheeljack on uh, Google. And that came up with this set of, uh, well, it's a spoiler, but they call it wings. I could not find any wings, and I couldn't find anything. If you search Shapeways, it just comes up with a, uh, a head. Anyway, but it didn't seem to hurt the black plastic or anything else that I kind of accidentally got on. So I think it looks much better. Now, unfortunately, I don't think that stuff did anything for the clear plastic. It didn't seem to have any effect. It's still pretty yellow there, but uh, that doesn't really bother me. I don't know any way to fix it. And since we have it open, let's put our Diaclone Reboot Driver in there. It should fit. It's a bit more hippie than the original Diaclone guys, but I think it'll fit in there. Yeah, just fine. All right, we'll do a quick transformation. Get out of there. And I must say, it is really fun to finally have a wheel jack in my collection. I never had this guy as a wee lad, but uh, I kind of admired him from afar. I, I saw him at school. It was one of my friends. Well, <laughs> I didn't have any friends. But uh, I did see him at school, and he was a pretty cool figure, even with his gorilla arms. He's a great character and a great G1 figure. 
And he's looking a little bit better now that he's been whitened up. Even without his wings. Very cool. I think he'll look great with the stickers on. So I hope this video helps somebody out. Um, I think picking up these kind of uh, fixer-upper G1 figures is a good way to add them to your collection without spending too much money. You can save a few bucks and just whiten them up and sticker them up yourself. So please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below. I read them all. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and thanks for watching.